Welcome to Nevic Daily. Asus Z97ROG motherboards translate bleeding edge technology and unsurpassed gaming power. Asus Z97ROG Maximus motherboards, the best of the best. Ryan Smith from Anantech has compared the preview build of DirectX 12 with Mantle using a number of Nvidia and AMD cards. He got his hands on a new build of Oxide Starstorm demo which excels in sheer number of draw calls to test the low level graphics API's performance. At extreme settings, DirectX 12 garnered significantly higher frame rates than DirectX 11 but falling just a bit short of Mantle in most cases. Again, it's just a preview build, but it's great to see DirectX 12 competing with Mantle in the low-level API department, even if it will only be on Windows 10, but it's free. So there's that. Fudzilla has reported that Nvidia will soon be launching a new version of their Shield tablet featuring the Tegua X1 mobile super chip. This isn't really a surprise, but rumors are saying the device could debut at the GPU technology conference on March 17th. A Maxwell GPU in a tablet? Yes, please. Cablevision has launched their Wi-Fi only mobile phone service called Freewheel. The service only sells one phone, a second gen Moto G for 100 bucks, which can connect to the 1.1 million hotspots in the New York area or any other Wi-Fi hotspot to make use of its unlimited talk, text and data. The plan is 30 bucks a month, 10 for existing Cablevision customers, and they might roll out an app that expands the service to other smartphones. Are we entering the age of ubiquitous Wi-Fi? This would be awesome if Canada's plan to use aging TV airwaves as Wi-Fi works out. After a long development, the first Ubuntu phone is going on sale in Europe next week. Spanish company BQ is launching the Aquarius E 4.5 Ubuntu edition for 170 euros or just over $190, a price which matches its modest specs. No word on a Ubuntu phone for North America Linux fans, so you'll just have to be patient. And the DICE Awards happened in Las Vegas last night. Shadow of Mordor won 8 awards while Dragon Age Inquisition snagged Game of the Year without winning any other titles. But it was the best, guys. Trust us. You can see all of this year's winners in the forum post linked in the description. I used to host Netlink Daily, then I took an arrow to the- <laughs> This week is NCIX's sweet February deals. Why is February so sweet? Because it's short. Short and sweet. The Canadian deal is a Be Quiet Dark Rock 3 CPU cooler for $59.99, that's 20 bucks off. And the American deal is an XFX Radeon R9 290X 4 gig for $289.99 with a mail-in rebate. Click here or the links in the description to see all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Nightly Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. See you next week!